St. Kate Police now saying they've launched a massive manhunt for people wanted in two separate violent incidents in Biti in the last 24 hours. In the first, the traditional leader, Chief Zano Mteto Mtihaha's mother, Nongkile Mtihaha, was gunned down just outside Mtata by two unknown gunmen. The case of murder has now been opened. In the second, five grade 12 learners, matriculants from a local school in the same area, were robbed and raped last night. Police are still investigating whether there's a connection between the two cases. They've asked for anyone with more information to come forward. Newsroom Africa's Nsiki Nahia following the story for you. Nsiki, good morning. These are two terrible stories. What's the latest? Well, um, Stephen, what we are hearing on the ground when we arrived here at Mtikara Homestead is that last night at around about half past 11, two men um, wearing balaclavas stormed this particular door, the sliding door of this house. This is where Chief Nutrenile Mtikara was asleep. And when they arrived, we are told that they were looking for his son. His son uh, apparently was involved in the case of two suspects that were attacking, killing people in the community. So he was involved in in that um uh, you know in that uh, uh, crime fighting here in the community as somebody who is from the um you know this particular homestead be belonging to chief jongindaba whose son grew up with uh, the late uh, nelson mandela but i'm joined uh, Sylvan, by uh, reverend sizwe nyembenya who is a religious leader here at mkakezwene administrative area reverend you were here very early in the morning you heard what happened what happened yes what actually happened they say two men came in wearing paraclavas and they met some students who are staying here at the homestead who are studying at their lunch and then they asked for pigolums and pigo they say they he's around but they don't know the room where he sleeps and now there was that growl and now the old lady heard this noise and she woke up when she woke up and got into the passage i don't know how did he encounter these two men but they shot him dead at the spot mm. we understand uh, that there are also learners girls who are currently writing a metric final exams but they are not staying here tell us about that yes from here the same night uh, some girls staying at a nearby location were raped last night and we suspect that it is the same no people who did this because it was later than this and it was two men who raped these girls at mm. their homestead. Mm. Tell us about these two men. I understand that they attacked some of the homesteads, some of the families, two families. One was touched and two couple was uh, murdered and the community attacked these two um, suspects and one of them succumbed to injuries and the other one um, is still probably in hospital or out of hospital. But this was some sort of revenge. Is that what I'm thinking? Yes, perhaps it might be. Although it, it's just a speculation. Mm. Mm. Thank you so much, Reverend Sizwe Nyembenya, the religious leader here in the community, as well as the chairperson of Jongindaba High School. This is where six learners are currently doing their grade 12. And we understand, Stephen, that they are currently writing their exams at a uh, police station undisclosed, you know, a name of the police station for their safety. And uh, we understand again that uh, the, the two suspects that were attacked by mob justice here for committing crime in the community um, prior to this attack in this particular home said one of them, the one that survived, because we understand the other one was poisoned um, allegedly by mob justice, was also out on parole. Uh, same applies with the one at the beginning magistrate so his courts accused number one. He was also out on parole, and that was evident. When we left Biki, he came to court escorted by vehicles from Correctional Center. In seeking here, thank you very much indeed for that update.